Hello lads and lassies, and welcome back to my channel, it's I'm Mr Mayhem. Today, we'll be going over my most anticipated films of, uh, when is this video going out? Next, uh, of next year, sorry, I forgot when this video was going out. Um, now there's quite a few here, and I'm sure I probably won't go too in-depth with uh, most of them. But, uh, yeah. Before we get into this, if you do enjoy this, make sure you like, drop a comment, subscribe for more. You can support me on Patreon, follow me on Instagram, and Twitter, links in the description. And let me know what some of your most anticipated films of this year are, of next year are, so... Uh, this is in no order, by the way, uh, and this is only stuff that's been announced now. I'm recording this at the start of December, so we'll see, but here we go. So, <coughs> first up we have The Iron Claw, uh, or The Iron Claw, whatever you call it. Uh, this is the new wrestling biopic with Zac Efron. I saw the trailer for this in, what was it? What film was I seeing? Hunger Games, that was it. And thought it looked really good. Um, and I quite like Zac Efron's stuff he's done outside of High School Musical. But yeah, looking forward to that one. Looks interesting. So uh, Then we have Dune Part 2. It's Dune. Uh, Dune Part 1 is a masterpiece. Visually, just sonically. Would that be the audio? audio odd, sonic, I don't know. Uh, ears. It's a masterpiece across all departments, and I'm so excited for part two. Annoyed it was pushed, but at least we're getting it. The Fall Guy with Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. This just looks, pardon me, like so much fun, and I believe it's David Leach that's directing it. Deadpool 2, and he was involved with John Wick. Awesome, awesome, awesome director. Really excited for that. Looks funny, it looks fun. Ryan Gosling, chew me up, daddy. Yes, um, anyway... <clears throat> Kung Fu Panda 4. Kung Fu Panda 4. Kung Fu Panda 1 and 2 are elite. Kung Fu Panda 3 is alright. I'm hoping 4 is good. I hope they're coming back for a good reason, not just for a cash grab, but... Dream Milks are underrated, so hopefully... Fingers crossed, this is this is, this is going to be another slapper. So, uh, Then we have Mickey 17, Bong Joon-ho's new film. His first new film since Parasite with Robert Pattinson. I know nothing about this, but I am stoked for it either way. I, I will be there day one. Because Bong Joon Ho is a fucking fantastic filmmaker, and Robert, and Robert Pattinson, oh, just inject into my veins. Uh, Godzilla X Kong, I love the new MonsterVerse stuff. Monarchs, a, but I love the new MonsterVerse stuff so much, um, and I love Godzilla vs Kong. So I'm really excited for this new mixtape they're dropping. Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire. Sounds like they're about to drop the new fucking mixtape, but I'm so excited for this. We're getting this in March. Let's fucking go. Sorry, that's probably quite late for you, but anyway. Uh, Deadpool 3. Oh, my God. Uh, I wonder if this is going to be the cameo fest that people thought Multiverse of Madness will be. But either way, I'm excited because we're getting Deadpool and Wolverine. Finally, he... Uh, so happy. Uh, Eli Roth's Borderlands. I'm excited for this, mainly because it's either going to be good... Or it's going to be shit, but it'll be a mess and it'll be fun. I have faith that I'm going to like this film. Just full stop. How much, it depends. But I have a feeling I'm just going to like it for the most part. Because I love Borderlands. It's one of my favourite game series. And I'm excited to see what the hell he's done with it. So, And Thanksgiving fucking slapped. So, uh, Then we have Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I am excited for this, but also hesitant. Because Matt Reeves' trilogy ended off fucking fantastically. And I'm a bit nervous about Kingdom. Uh, the trailer itself says nothing, which is nice. Visuals look good, but I'm a bit hesitant. So we'll see where this goes. I'm hopeful, but I won't be surprised if it's a bit poo-poo. But at least we'll still have that trilogy. Then we have Furiosa. Uh, the Finally, another Mad Max-esque film. The spin-off with Andy Taylor-Joy and Chris Hemsworth apparently in it as well. But directed by George Miller. I'm excited for this one. Should be good, so we'll see where that goes. Uh, then we also have Ballerina, the first movie spin-off for John Wick. Obviously, we had The Continental, which I've not seen yet, but I've heard from multiple sources that episode one and two are boring as shit. So we'll see where that goes, but I'm excited for Ballerina. Anna de Armas, and obviously we're going to have Keanu Reeves' cameo in there as well. I'm excited for this. Hopefully it's good, but we'll see. Alien Romulus, Fede Alvarez's alien film. I am stoked for this, because he his Evil Dead and Don't Breathe are incredible. And I feel like he's going to knock this one out of the park. Fingers crossed, because he's he is great. Uh, Joker 2. 
I mean, it's Joker. I hope this is good. I have I have a feeling it's going to be like at least entertaining because of Joaquin and Lady Gaga because Lady Gaga is a great actress as well as Joaquin. Uh, Paddington three, Paddington in Peru, Paddington in per- Paddington in Peru. Been a long time for this one, but it's a bit sad that a lot of key figures have left. So hopefully it's good, but we'll see. Uh, the Karate Kid film has just announced that it's going to be Jackie Chan and Ralph Macchio's characters coming back. So I'm actually excited for this. Hopefully they wrap up Cobra Kai before then, or just after it. But we'll see. Um, I'm hesitant but excited. But then we have Return to, uh, Return to Silent Hill, the sequel to Silent Hill and Silent Hill Revelation 3D. Silent Hill, the original, I think is quite a good film. And I'm so excited to see that, that we're getting another film in this universe. And it's the same director, everything. They're coming back and it just... Oh, I hope it's good. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. I saw the first Sonic in cinemas, didn't see the second one. But saw the second one on home video and... I think the second Sonic film is better, way better than the first, like leaps and bounds. So I'm hopeful for Sonic 3 being an absolute just slapper. So, uh, Craven, I only put this in here because I'm excited to see. I don't know why. I enjoy how weird Sony's superhero films can be. Like, Morbius is fucking strange. Venom is strange. But I, I, I love the second Venom film. Um... And I also put I've also put Madame Web in here because it's just it's just so weird. Sony, it, they feel like Sony superhero films, but I like they're they're not great. But I just I'm attracted to how bad they are. So we'll see. And then we have a Quiet Place Day One, John Krasinski and everything. I'm excited for this. The first two films are absolute slappers. Let me just check. It is John Krasinski that's directing. The this one isn't it? I think it is. Uh, no, it's not him. But he's a producer, so hopefully it'll be good. Um. Oh, the guy who directed Pig. And he's directing Quiet Place Part Three. Okay, I'm curious. Calling me curious now. Um. But yeah, that's my most anticipated, 20 most anticipated films of 2024. Um, obviously, if stuff gets announced, they won't be in this list. But um, let me know what some of your most anticipated films of next year are. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you do enjoy this, remember to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe for more. You can support me on Patreon, follow me on Instagram, and links in the description. I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.